What's your process for creating? Like, do you start out with storyboards? Do you uh, do sketches? Like, what's what's your actual process doing these animations? Yeah. So most of the time, if I'm doing um, an animated piece, well, it, dep- it depends on how quick the turnaround has to be. So if I'm doing something like a marketing video for Watch Gang, I'll write out the script and do the voiceover, and then and then throw, um, just throw it straight into animation. Okay. Because I because I know exact I'm, I I've been there for a few years, and I know what they're what style they're looking for, and I can sort of pretty safely guess and and make it so that it can be adjusted, but but it's it still you know moves along at a pretty good clip. But if I'm working on these documentaries, and I've never worked with the guy before, or if if it's if it's a a totally new project, then I'll do storyboards. Um, and I usually do instead of storyboarding onto a sheet of paper, I'll storyboard directly into animatic. Okay. So I'll I'll s- sketch pretty roughly, and then I'll throw it into a video sequence with the the sound that they give me. Um, so that they can sort of see how it's moving and see, see like how it'll end up and time out in, in the video itself. And then, uh, from there I'll clean up the characters and clean up the background. And recently how I've been doing the, the animation for the characters has been with, um, so I, I'm still using After Effects for the most part. I design everything in Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, do you bring them in as objects or something that you can move around or how are you doing the actual animations? So if you save a PSD or an AI file, uh, and you bring that into after effects, you can just bring it in as a composition Okay. and, and it will preserve all of your layers and folders. And especially if you do it in, in illustrator, um, you know, it preserves the vectors. And so you can zoom in as close as you want on those and it'll preserve the quality and it's, you know, vector files are so light, it doesn't really bog down After Effects very much. So I like, actually, I'll, I'll design a lot of the characters that I use in Illustrator so that I can so that I can zoom in on them really easily. So, but what I'm saying is, like, are you doing the actual, like, you will draw out an arm and then, like, have, you know, the top part of the arm, the lower part of the arm, and will those be a new folder and that's the composition that you can bring in, or? Yeah, sort of. So, so um, yeah, I'll design sort of a puppet uh, or several puppets for each character so that, you know, I've got like a three quarter and I've got a, a profile and a front facing back facing all that stuff, mm-hmm. depending on how much I, how much movement this is like for a main character, I would, I would design all of those directions so that I can turn the character around if I need to. And then recently I've been using um, a plugin called joysticks and sliders. You ever heard of that? <laughs> no, but I love what it's called. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's super great. And basically you can, so you, you create a virtual joystick and you create like an extreme right and left up and down position and like the neutral position in the center. Okay. And then you move the joystick around and it appears as though the, like if you animate a face, it, you can make it go like, you know, all, Oh. Just by moving this joystick around, and it 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 saves a ton of time. And then sliders, you can you can program sliders to be like a blink or like mouth mouth open close kind of things. Okay. Wow. Um, and it's really it's super simple to use. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, how much is the process to set up to use it, or is it just kind of it, you pick your points and there it runs from there. I mean, depending on how many layers you're using, it, it can get a little complicated, but it's just five keyframes. It's your neutral, extreme right, extreme left, extreme up, and extreme down. Okay. And then you highlight all of those, and you say, make a joystick. And then it create it like, you know, does all the programming behind the scenes, and you right. don't really know what it's doing, and then it creates a little joystick, and you, you can move it around, and it works great. Huh. Okay. I like that. Um. <laughs> yeah, and I and e- so then you bring in each layer as as or each each piece of the of the character as its own layer, mm-hmm. and you can sort of manipulate everything that way. Okay, and the reason I ask, I mentioned before that I've been using, uh, still using Flash Four because it's the only one that I paid for, and I'm not going to go buy another version. But I'm able to run it. But I know that one day I'm going to open it, or one day it's going to be like this doesn't work anymore, or you know something's wrong with this. And it's so I've been trying to adjust. 
but the way that I, I just remember I create a library and then I can use the pieces and I don't have to redraw them every time. I'll hand draw them, scan them in, fill it out, and then I have all the objects. But right. I've been trying to use like Blender lately to do animation because they recently have really been pushing 2D animation. But yeah, I don't want to they... hand draw the damn thing every time. <laughs> That's Blender's Blender's sort of trying to move in on harmony almost, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Have you, yeah. And that's that's all fine. Um <laughs> I mean and it, it works. It works. Uh it's just um and I I've I've used that stuff before and I, I like it, but it's you know, I'm I'm most comfortable in an after effects in Photoshop environment so that's sort of what i stick to yeah well and that's uh, i will go right like right now i'm trying them all out but i want something where i can just go here's my library and i can do like what you're saying where i've done all the work here's the character i know how to animate it i just don't want to hand draw it every time which i mean i don't mind hand drawing it but i'd like to do something where it doesn't take me tons of time whereas i can just go this is a limited animation you know and and i'm cool with that but everything i've tried so far it, Here's the thing. The tutorials on YouTube, I don't need to know how animation works every time I go to see how... It, like, I don't need to see the bouncing ball animation every time you go, here's how I use After Effects to animate. Now, this is a bouncing ball. No, show me a proper way to use it to make cartoons. You know, right, yeah. I get that there are beginners out there, but every single... Like, I have yet to find one that tells me the thing that I'm talking to you about right now. <laughs> it's like, I want to bring in a character library and animate that. <laughs> yeah. Flash is sort of more tedious when it when it comes in to like bringing in libraries and stuff mm -hmm. but but after effects is super simple you drag your psd and and just say like create a composition instead of a a layer yeah and it brings in everything and preserves all the properties it's great 